What's up, everybody? Doc Dark 1985. There's levels to this. All right, check this out. So I waited a few days before I made this video. I learned my lesson from the Xbox Series S when I called it out for running 1080p, 30 frames per second, because that's what the developer said. And then the next day they came out and said that it was a mistake, that they made the mistake of saying that. So I gave this a few days to see if if hopefully it was a mistake as well. That's what I was praying for, that it was a mistake. And I don't see anything yet. So if something did come out, please let me know. Leave me a comment, but I don't see anything yet. So Outriders, Jesus, and Need for Speed both run better on the PS5. The Xbox Series X is supposed to be the more powerful console. Yet, the PS5 continuously keeps running games better. Now, here's the deal. Here's the deal. At this point, I'm tired. It's like I'm in an abusive relationship, and I'm just tired. I don't even feel like fighting back. I'm just taking my beating. That's what I'm doing. I'm just taking it. It is what it is, okay? The PS5 is running games better than the Xbox Series X. But when you try to make excuses for it, it's not a good look for us. Microsoft Microsoft needs to figure this out. Microsoft needs to come out and say why. The developers need to come out and say honest. Be honest. Maybe they just maybe one of them will come out and be like, no, it's just better to make games for the PS5. <laughs> a racing game dropping to from 60 to like 40 frames during a curve on a five hundred dollar next gen console? Come on, man. Come on. And then I saw some things, some tweets saying that the reason the Xbox Series X and Outriders is doing worse than the PS5 is because they're really shooting for 4K. But then you see screenshots of like the textures between the PS5 and the Xbox Series X and it's like, look, look, right now we lost the power narrative. Xbox, Xbox combined, we lost the power narrative. We don't have the power narrative. And even though, even though right now, Sony, the only exclusives you got are Demon Souls, um, Asteroid, Bot. What else you got that's exclusive? Spider-Man, Cross-Gen. But the only thing you really got for the PS5 exclusively for the PS5, I and mean, you're not the PS4, is Astro Bot and Demon Souls. That's the best that I could think of. You guys correct my mind. Don't do not mention any future games. They're not out yet. You don't know if the world's gonna end tomorrow. So you were here banking on stuff for, for July. You don't know if you're gonna make it to July. So don't even bank on that. That's ridiculous. They got me on that one podcast I did talking about future games. And now that I think about it, I was like, why did I let them talk about future games? Because I, I could have spoken about future games too. But regardless, regardless. Right now, we have no. We got we got nothing, man. We got nothing. I, I just I just hope everybody else that bought our Xbox Series X is enjoying their console like I am because I'm playing Halo Combat Evolve right now after I just finished playing all the gears. So I've beat all every single gears. I beat it. Now I'm playing Halo Combat Evolve, the very first Halo. And I've actually beaten it before a long time ago, but I want to beat it again on Xbox Series X because it's running at 120 frames. 1080p, my TV does 1080p 120. It doesn't do 4K 120. It does 4K 60. But I actually dropped it down so I could play at that 1080p. I mean, so I could play at that 120. And that's the deal, man. Like, I promise you, I promise you, every single game will run better at 60. So even the Xbox Series S, running games at 1080p 30, it shouldn't. Everything should run 60 everything lower the resolution lower the graphics and have it run at 60 i promise the gamer you're going to have a better experience if the games are running at 60 every single game will run and play better at 60 i promise you you won't worry about the visuals that much if it's running at 60. the other thing is too listen 1080p ultra high textures versus 4k low textures like that that doesn't that what, what are we doing what are we doing that makes no sense so at the end of the day, I didn't want to make this video because I know I'm going to get the hate. People are going to tell me, you don't understand, Doc. There's tools coming, RDNA 2. It's the velocity architecture. All types of excuses that right now mean nothing. The PS5 is running games better than the Xbox Series X. These are facts. 
I don't know what you want me to tell you. We got to call Microsoft out. If you bought the Xbox Series X because it's a more powerful console. I know that's one of the reasons that I bought it. To me, that was the icing on the cake. Game Pass was it. And I got a lot of games that I got to run through before I run out of games. But, but, when I start running out of games, I better see good games. Better see good games. But the thing is, all multi-plats should run better on the Xbox Series X. Listen to what I'm saying. It should run better. Not this, not even the same. It shouldn't even run this. If the Xbox Series X and the PS5 were running games equally, I would still be upset. I would still be upset. But it's not even doing that. Doc Doc 1985, there's levels to this. I'm ready for all the excuses. Go ahead, Xbox. Bring them on. Tell me I'm a Sony pony with an Xbox. Tell me I should sell my Xbox Series X. No, I, I, I thought I paid for something and I'm not getting it. I'm allowed to be upset. That's what makes us different. We're able to call out Microsoft. Some Sony fans won't say Sony can't do nothing wrong. I am proud of a lot of Sony fans that are upset that Sony's putting exclusives on the PC, even if they're old exclusives. Some were capping like they didn't care. But some of you guys are really thinking Sony is not going to do the day one thing. And I'm not sure. Maybe not right away, but I'm not sure. Doc Dog 185, there's levels to this. We out. Peace.